report to the House. The second report, uh, Madam, De Madam Speaker, uh, follows the committee's roundtable on surrogacy. Madam Speaker, the desire to be a parent is one that is felt by people of all backgrounds, all genders and cultures. Unfortunately, one in six Australian couples have infertility issues. Now, with advances in modern science and assisted reproductive technology, uh, surrogacy is becoming an increasingly widespread means of family formation for those who wish to have children. Domestic surrogacy arrangements are regulated by a patchwork of state and territory legislation, which can be difficult to understand and comply with. International surrogacy often occurs in countries with, I've got to say, less robust regulatory and health standards, uh, and may, in some cases, certainly in some cases that we were uh, discussed during the, uh, the roundtable, it could be exploitative. These international surrogacy arrangements engage Australia's human rights obligations and domestic immigration and citizenship law. The committee's roundtable was conducted over two sessions, which examined both the Australian government's role in surrogacy matters and the views of experts and practitioners working in the field considering legal, social, economic, scientific and medical issues. Uh, at the roundtables, the committee was struck by the diversity of views, the lack of regulatory clarity and the number of welfare and ethical issues relating to both domestic and international surrogacy practices. Now, the key issues that were raised at our roundtable on surrogacy were the sensitivity of terminology used to describe surrogacy, the questions of informed consent, potential exploitation, compensatory payments, rights and protections for all parties involved, including, in particular, the rights of the child born to actually know their biological parentage. Uh, also domestic and international legal and human rights considerations, and finally the adequacy of Australia's IVF providers and regulatory framework. The roundtable highlighted the need for a more comprehensive examination of these issues and a more coordinated response to the growth of surrogacy arrangements. As a result, uh, the committee recommends that the Attorney-General uh, refer an inquiry into the regulatory and legislative framework around both domestic and international surrogacy arrangements. And in presenting this report, the committee would like to emphasise its great appreciation for those who participated in the committee's roundtable. Again, uh, the work that's been done on this, uh, uh, thanks to the rest of my committee and the, particularly the deputy chair, and also uh, foremost, I would say, uh, the secretariat staff who uh, currently are sitting in the gallery there. I thank them very much for their efforts uh, in compiling these two reports. Thank you, Madam Speaker.